Hi, it's Kim from Emerging Creatively Tutorials. And today I wanted to bring you a creativity booster involving music. There is a blog post to go along with this video that I will link to below the video so you can go over and read all about it. I wanted to give you a bit of a taste of what Rediscover Your Creativity and Make Jewelry eCourse is like. So I'm going to be doing three videos. This would be a creativity booster, what I call a creativity booster in the Rediscover Your Creativity and Make Jewelry eCourse. Each week is broken into three parts. The first part is a creative activity kind of designed to get your mind thinking creatively. The second part is jewelry skills lessons and the third part is making jewelry. It's a jewelry project. In the e-course it's several jewelry projects. Um, there are 21 in total in the e-course and so each week there are at least two and sometimes up to at least four or so. So this is just kind of a little taste, and this is different. This this particular creativity booster is not in the e-course, but I have been thinking a lot lately about how music affects me and how it affects our creativity, and there's this thing called the Mozart effect, where actually listening to Mozart in particular um, actually makes you be able to think more creatively. So. I'm actually going to listen to some music and sketch some ideas to see what comes up. I have not planned for this. I just actually set up my camera and decided just to talk to you. Um, and I'm, in a second, we're going to go to my sketchbook. This is a, my, a small sketchbook I have that I uh, take with me. and. I am going to see what happens. So hopefully some designs pop into my head. And so what I encourage you to do, I encourage you to do the same thing. If you hate classical music, then I don't suggest that you use classical music. Um, but if you do like it or you're interested to see what might happen, then I highly recommend trying even specifically Mozart. You can look on the internet for um, maybe some YouTube videos or some music. I'm sure you can find some online if you don't have any kind of in your possession. If you hate classical music, which I can't imagine, but <laughs> maybe you do, then perhaps you could go back in time and think of some music that you really love or I mean, music that you really love right now. I'm kind of thinking like maybe if you kind of think back to maybe your younger days, it might actually bring up more creative thoughts for you. I'm not sure, but I think that it could. And so then what I encourage you to do is, you don't even necessarily need to sketch jewelry. Just whatever comes up, kind of have a sketchbook. You might draw, you might sketch thoughts. It could be anything. Any of those things are fine. I'm expecting that what I'm going to be doing is sketching jewelry. That's what my plan is, so I, that's probably what I will do. But for you, that might not be the thing. The other thing I'd like to say is if you actually are new to jewelry making and you don't have a lot of techniques in your kind of pocket of different ways to make jewelry, it might be hard for you to actually sketch jewelry because you don't actually know what's possible. On the other hand, you might come up with some really brilliant ideas and then you can go search to find ways to actually make those jewelry pieces. So even if you're not sure how to actually make the jewelry you might come up with, this activity is just to get those ideas down and not to kind of think about what how you're going to actually put these in place, how you're actually going to make the jewelry. You'll figure that out as you go. So just sketch whatever comes out. Um, if you don't think you're good at drawing, it's fine. I cannot draw and I sketch jewelry designs all the time. Um, I just sort of sketch it as best as I can and then draw little arrows and say what the things are so that I remember 
that was supposed to be a chain, this is a bead, that sort of thing. So like I said, this is going to be a three-part series. The first part is what you're watching right now. The second part, we're going to learn some jewelry techniques. And then the third part will be an actual project. And, and these videos are going to come out once a week for three weeks, starting today. And they'll be coming out on Wednesdays. Um, if you are on my newsletter, then I will be sending them to you via email as well. If not, well, why not? <laughs> Come and join my newsletter. It comes out once a week on Wednesdays, and I also have a free 10-day quick start guide to um, making wire wrap jewelry, which you get, you can choose to get that in addition to the weekly emails if you like. So um, let's get started. Let's see what happens. As you can see, I came up with a bunch of sketches in a pretty short amount of time. In the video that you just watched, of course, I sped up the sketching so it's not exactly what you are listening to is what I was sketching when I was listening to it, but you get the general idea. I was just thinking also about how much music affects us. So I was thinking about how I was kind of dragging my feet on putting up my Christmas decorations. We don't go real crazy here, but I do put up a tree and some other decorations, and I couldn't get in the mood. So I dug out some Christmas music and played it, and I totally was in the mood to decorate for Christmas. Music can really be the backdrop and a great inspiration for you. So, like I mentioned at the beginning, when you do this exercise, you may not end up with jewelry sketches. You might sketch any number of things. And I even suggest if, if it is the holidays where you are, or you have a holiday coming up, you put some holiday music on and maybe you'd want to sketch some holiday jewelry or just sketch whatever comes out. The idea is that you get inspired, your creativity gets boosted, and if this um, if sketching is what comes out, that's awesome. If something else altogether comes out, that's fine too. It will eventually lead to creativity for your jewelry making as well. So as I mentioned, this is part one of a three-part series. Next week on Wednesday will be part two and there will be jewelry skills lessons. And the week after that will be part three, which will be a jewelry project. And this is all a taste of rediscover your creativity and make jewelry e-course and that's an e-course that I have that starts on January 2nd and is a great way to start your new year with a lot of inspiration so I'll have the link below the video to the blog post that goes along with this video um, to tell you a little bit more about music and creativity and I'll also have the link for the e-course below this video as well have a great day and be creative